What's up, man? Players, man, Talk twenty four seven here with a Madden Ultimate Team gameplay. I have the Saints uniform, and my opponent has the Rams uniform. And here we go. I'm not sure who that running back is. I think it might be Demarco Murray. Not really sure who it is at, at all. Honestly, I have no clue who it is. And this guy is Jerry Rice. That's all that really needs to be said. If you don't know how good Jerry Rice is, you will see in the next clip right here, third and nine on the right side. He ran a corner route, and Terrell Brown, he's at midfield. That's just how good Jerry Rice is. You can put him on any route. And no, I'm not complaining at all, because Jerry Rice was easily the best wide receiver of all time. Just because that dude was slow as hell. Like he ran like a 4'7", four, 4'8". Four, I mean, not fast at all, but he, he he was a great route runner. And Madden did a great job of showing it. Here we go, trying to attempt a kick from the 42-yard from the line. Janikowski, maybe if you got full power, might have been able to make that. But I just wouldn't take that risk. At least punt the ball. At least go for it. That's a lot. I mean, you got to get literally 100% power with Janikowski to have a chance at making that kick. Even then, it might bounce off the crossbar. I really have no idea. And yes, I'm running read outs with Drew Brees. I really don't care. I like to play these ultimate team games just for fun, man. I mean, just as a nice change up. And Drew Brees, he's not half bad in the read option game, man. Maybe taking back to his college days at Purdue. Nah, I don't know, man. Don't really know. I mean, it was working good, but then the dude I was playing started to have some respect for himself, and he really wasn't about to let me run Reed Alshu with Drew Brees again. But Cabernet did get hurt. He constantly gets hurt, my Colin Kaepernick. He's not the elite version. He's the gold version, and he's constantly getting hurt. I really need to trade him for maybe Cam Newton. He gets hurt. He doesn't break tackles. He's just a bum. But here we go, man. Second shot. At Ooh. Dang, man. Didn't even give me enough time to get hyped, man. No time to hype up the scenario. Drew Brees fumbles again, and that's really... That's really discouraging, man, because now I have Kaepernick hurt, Drew Brees is fumbling, and now the only play, only player I have left is, uh, I think I have an Aaron Rodgers, man, a training camp Aaron Rodgers, not really sure, or a skills training Aaron Rodgers. I mean, I'm just going based off a name. He's Aaron Rodgers. He should be faster than Drew Brees. Knows to say it should be. You never know with this man ultimate team, man. You just never know. But as you see, he has all these players. I think he has Kevin Winslow. Not the junior man, the Kevin Winslow. So this guy definitely has some players that are very tough to guard. I think he has Tony Gonzalez or Jimmy Grant. That's somebody good, man. I don't even know. I really can't make out these numbers that well. But we get the interception. Eric Berry on the goal line. And he gets tackled by Jerry Rice. Come on now. Come on now. You cannot run Jerry. I mean, that's kind of sad. I would have... I would have really, like, admit you got hawked by Jerry Rice. But it is what it is. And there we go, man. A scoreless half. Looking kind of weak for both sides. But I still get ball back at the half. So I'm not really concerned. I know that. There, there goes Cabinet, man. There he is. And still, hit stick. And, yes, he got hurt off that. Yep. As I said, came in for one play and got hurt. But we have Aaron Rodgers running for the touchdown. No, he's not that fast. He got tackled. He still gained a smooth 35 yards, a nice run, just to get the offense, you know, a spark on the offense. But now I'm actually have to pass the ball on this dude, run a wide trail, pass it to Jason Witten. That's why I had that dude on my team, a 91 overall. He doesn't drop passes at all. And that's Jermichael Finley. Enough said, man. That's a drop. So here we are. And we're still running the read option, but he's not allowing me to run read option over him. He really, I mean, he knows how to lock up the read option. So I actually have to pass the ball against him. There we go. Scrambling. We just decided to scramble. And Kaepernick, he actually takes the hit. Fourth and one. Read option. I'm a bum. <laughs> what am I? What am I doing, man? I'm a bum. I made the wrong read. I decided before I called that play that I was handing off the ball. Really, I mean, I thought I eliminated that habit, but we get the interception anyway. There we go. Are we going to take this back? Yes, we do. Tremont Williams, 7-zip. My offense is it's struggling, for lack of a better word, man. And, and that's really put it nicely. I mean, how many times I get stopped? Like three, four times. I'm over here fumbling and just... 
just playing disgusting, man. But we get the defense. You know, we get the touchdown. And as long as he doesn't score, it doesn't matter how many points my offense scores. Now he's starting to get more in tune with the run game. How do you get carried like that, man? You tackled him about three yards behind the line of scrimmage. And you just get carried again, ran over. I think that's Alvin Morris that was running the ball right there. I think that's Alvin Morris, man, if I'm correct. Don't really know with this ultimate team, man. People change up numbers and all that stuff, man. Really had no idea and second and eight I did not see this coming I'm not gonna lie usually I can see these screens coming I did not see that screen coming at all. It just completely surprised me. Didn't even see it, and that's how he scored. Now the score is 7-7, and now I basically just have to kick a field goal. I'm not really concerned. I know that's going to be easy for me. We're going to keep running the read option, and this is just not smart. Here I am running the read option, trying to make people miss, and I get tackled for losing one yard, really not making anything happen in this game. There I am, and... What am I doing? Getting sacked. Third and 17 again. Trying to pass the ball. Trying to make a play happen, man. Trying to make something happen. There we go. We throw the strike. And I believe he dropped that pick. Fourth and 17, man. Same play. Same everything, man. Is it going to be the same result? I really don't know. Lag. Oh, my goodness. It's like that, though. You got to lag me on fourth and 17 in the ultimate team game. It's really like that, man. I mean, dang. People people really take it off the game. What? 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 what, what? Dot. Let's go, man. We throw a strike to Torrey Smith for the one-hand snag. And that's how we're going to win this game, man. This dude's lagging me, freezing me, trying to mess up my time and trying to mess up my reads, man. It really doesn't matter because there we get the touchdown. And heck no, I'm not scoring. I'm kicking the field goal, you little cheater. Like, what the heck? What are you doing, man? Lag like what? People really make no sense to me, man, but they just see, man, me going clutch mode. I'm sorry you had to see that, man, for the one-hand snag versus 10, 11 people in coverage. Really doesn't matter, man, and that's the ball game, man. Uh, I hope you enjoy this gameplay. Look out for more Man Ultimate Team gameplays, pack openers in the future. I have a few more money games that I'm going to post few more tips I'm going to post, so look out for those. And no, it's really no suspense. I'm not that much of a bum. I'm not going to miss a 23-yard field goal. So there we go. Convert the field goal after the game. Send the dude a message. And basically just call him a bum. I mean, that's basically what he is. How you going to lag someone on 4th and 17 and they still get it? I think I was on my own 9-yard line. I mean, it's just crazy, man. What can I say, man?